Hi guys, welcome. Oh dear. Got some auto focus going on. Let me just get rid of that. We need a bit of light, hey? Mushrooms in the dark here. How is everyone? <laughs> we had some early birds today. We did, we did, we did. All right, so who, who? <laughs> Hi, Beth, welcome. Kenny, welcome. Loretta, welcome. We have Vic, welcome, first time. <laughs> Helen, welcome, doll. Thanks for helping out. And we had May. Hi, May. I'm just running through. Hi, Abby. Welcome. Robin, hi. Melissa, hi. Maya, hi. Is it Maya or Mia? I don't know. Everyone says things different. <laughs> Dawn, hello. Joey, hi. Uh, I, I really don't want to miss anyone because uh, I know that on uh, Tuesday night during our challenge, I missed quite a few people. It was so busy and chat was so quick. Um, hi, Pam. Welcome. And, um, yeah, <laughs> all right. And uh, is it Pat Cajun? Is that Pat? I have to write you down, actually. I've got a list of names, and um, I don't have you on my list. I think it was, like, Spicy Pat is in my head for some reason. <laughs> Hi, Alison. Welcome, sweetie. Hi, Holly. Um so yeah <laughs> is it pat is it pat yeah pat 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 and um i didn't get a chance to um jump into your live either uh, but anyway yes pat pat perfect all right great hi wendy welcome you are very right it was very hard mate <laughs> We had um, a great a great evening and I uh, really enjoyed myself. Great time. Great time. <coughs> Hi, Rochelle. Welcome. Yes, Pisces Pat. Somebody else thought of that in the other stream. I can't remember who it was. Louise, I think. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Hi, Gia. Um, so anyway, it was loads of fun. We had so much fun. Um, and as I said, it was really hard to keep up with everything, um, going on. So we are going to color up the hair on this beauty today. Oh, she's blurry. I, um, moved my camera and I just want to make sure, I'm going to zoom right in here, make sure it's fairly clear for you looking good so I'm going to pop up the colors again for you so I've only converted to four other brands and it's a close match so it's not exact um, it's the best that we could do considering the colors aren't exactly the same in every set um, and I've also popped the swatch chart in my group. So guys, if you are new and haven't been over to my group, make sure you answer the questions to get in and admin will let you in. I'm just going to post it up now for you. Done. And the image that we're doing today is by the lovely Colour and Chicks. And um, Doya, has her, Doya has her own um, YouTube channel as well so if you would like to pop over there and subscribe to her she does some little tutorials uh, not not voiced they they're usually just uh, music but they're really pretty and she does some pretty things with some pastels and I've seen a few things she uses so um, if, if you want to pop over there I think it's in the top corner I think there's a little information box up there with her details as well as my patreon so if you want to check that out Um, Alison, the colors do come up lighter on camera. So from what I can see here, it is quite dark. 
Um, and the scan, because I scan my images, they always come out a little bit more vibrant. Um, it's really hard to dull it down without dulling off the rest of it. So sometimes the scan comes up slightly different to the original. So. Have I got everyone? Because I noticed a few more popped in then while I was chatting. Nope, we're good. Look at the hiccups. So Colouring Chicks is having uh, a discount for us for the month as well. So that's all in the group. So if you pop over to the group and check that out, you'll be able to see that. Now, uh, we also have a couple of things. She also has a group on Facebook which I think I've actually forgotten to post in that I'm live today. So <laughs> I probably should do that. Uh, but this is her Facebook group. I also help out over there, but Shelly's the big queen of uh, the group and helps to run that more than what I do. I'm just there as a, you know, oh yeah, there's a post. I can accept that. <laughs> so um, she does all the work and uh, she's absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to just pop over there quickly while I'm just chatting to you and just post it because um, I don't want to miss it. I've got a thumbs up. What's that for, guys? Somebody's sending me messages. <laughs> Okay, almost done. Okay, posted it in the group as well so that uh, people don't forget. <laughs> Alrighty, so how is everyone? Becky, hi, or Steve, hi, whichever. <laughs> um, Deb, hello. Hi, Vic, welcome. Da, 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 da. Perfect. All right, we're ready to get started. So I wasn't very organized this morning. I woke up early, but I was so tired. <laughs> Um, that I kind of lost track of time really quickly. Uh, Shadow was also running around like a crazy cat before the stream, so uh, she tends to drive me crazy <laughs> all the time. Um, but that's okay. I love her. She's she's my baby. So today we're going to use some Indian red, some magenta. I'm going to use some deep red and uh, maybe a little bit of yellow today mm -hmm. so a little bit different to what we normally do I thought we'd mix it up and do something different she's actually going to be pink and burgundy themed uh, I think I've decided to go with and um, we're going to put a bit of yellow in there for a moon glow as well so we've got a little stars and moon here so we'll do them yellow um, yeah so we're going to need to add a little bit of purple into her, her eyes because uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to do last week. Um, I did blue thinking that, you know, <laughs> we are going to do a blue purple with pinks and things background, but I just want to put a little bit of the magenta into her eyes. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in. Hello, she has beautiful eyes. Just gonna add a tiny little bit of the magenta or whichever color you're using for magenta, just into the shadow areas of the eye. Just coming around the bottom of the pupil there as well. I just scratched off the white on that side too, so I might have to um, just re-add that. 
So we've just made that a little bit more purple now. I'm just going to redo that little dot of white there. I don't think I did the white gel pen last time. I think I was just going to wait till the end, but we'll do it now. And uh, I'm just going to pop a couple of spots on her lip too because we didn't do that the other day. Just brightened them up a little bit. Okay, now I'll just zoom back out because that's really close. <laughs> really close. Yeah, so in the eye. Did you get that? Hi Sung, welcome sweetie. Now um, let's start the hair. So I'm going to start with Indian Red. We're going to do um, some flicks. What are flicks you say? <laughs> Let me find a scrap bit of paper. It's a doozy. Hi Jack, welcome. Okay, so we're going to flick. So this area is quite little. So I'll just show you here uh, on a blank piece of paper. We're going to flick our pencil firm and then flick it out like a tick. You guys done ticks before? Anyone a teacher? You should get this. Coming back down. If you have to curve it, you just sort of flick on a curve like a tick. Okay. Now what we do with hair is each section of hair has parts to it. So just here we've got a part of hair. And what I would normally do is flick one way and then flick the other so we're leaving like a gap in the middle of each section of hair which you can already see is already drawn into the image so uh, Jay has already done some flicks and you can see the darker flicks are creating a little bit of a highlight in the middle of the hair so we want to make sure we keep that and if if this kind of thing is not drawn in on an image then you can just do your own does that make sense <laughs> so you just need to fill in each little part with dark on one side, dark on the other, and you'll create the same kind of effect. Please have a sharp pencil too, uh, because we don't want to get any rough sort of thick lines. We want them to stay nice and thin if we can. So I've got my pencil sharp. I'm going to start with Indian Red. I'm going to zoom in. Like that. Hi Becky, welcome sweetie. Indian Red, I'm using Holly. So what I'll do is I'll work on a section of hair and then I'll work all on one colour. Sometimes people find it easier to work on one part at a time. So I'll start on this section here. So I'm just flicking around the shape of the hair, trying to follow the curves. And I'm going to flick back up the other side as well. So with marker it's exactly the same. You can't see it very well on my camera because it's a little bright. Let me see if I can change that. Oh, hello. For some reason on this computer, 
Everything's completely different. Okay, let's try that. It's a little bit more true to colour. <laughs> so just flicking around. You don't want to do too many, but you want to have enough to have a bit of a dark spot in the top ends of each of those. Top end and bottom end, I should say. And then I've got magenta. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm going to stop them a little bit further out. We don't want to create a line though, so we want to make them kind of random, some long and some short. <laughs> Becky, have you got a blanket or are you saying blanket highs? <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> Hi Sky, welcome. <laughs> cool. All right, so magenta, we're going to flick and some of them we're going to make longer and some of them we're going to leave short. A couple of them I might even come all the way through so there's a tiny little bit of color in the middle. Need a little bit there. Then I'm going to use some deep red. Hi Rebel, welcome. Hi Morticia, welcome. And I'm going to flick out and add a little bit over the top of the middle this time. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of a glow on there. So we're just going to put a few flicks, just a couple of flicks of yellow in there. Trying to just sort of go over the white areas if I can there. Just a little bit of glow. I'm going to use, uh, I did put on the list a soft white pencil. I've got a Luminance, which is so tiny. I have got bigger ones, but I want to use it till the end. So <laughs> we'll just use this one. It needs a bit of a sharpen. It doesn't fit in my froggy anymore, look. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> it's a tiny pencil. I'm just going to go over those lighter areas and make sure the tooth's flattened down so there's no sort of fuzzy edges. Uh, everything's nice and smooth and clean. If you don't have a white pencil, a blending pencil would do the same kind of thing. Just a little bit more Indian red just to deepen up that dark shadow section again. So the hair is quite in depth and it's going to take me the whole, of course I just broke my pencil, the whole two hours to do that hair. So we'll start now and I'm going to do the whole head section now. Hi Tess, welcome. More blanket highs. We're all nice and warm with highs. Which pencil? The Luminance one, sweetie? This one? I love it too. This pencil and the Caran d'Ache Full Blender are two products that I use all the time on every image and a white gel pen. <clears throat> no no sharing of pills in chat please <laughs> yes uh, Tess it's my favorite product so now I'm going to use the Indian red and I'm going to go and do all of the shadows so let's just talk about shadows quickly as well because that piece of hair was quite clean there was nothing sort of laying over it and uh, it was quite sort of you know straightforward to do but some of these pieces of hair like this one down here have got other sections of hair so this is a section just here and then this is a section just here so in these sections that are underneath you're going to need to put a little bit more shadow hello shadow yes we said the name shadow <laughs> So, 
of course she comes out when I say her name. So we want to actually just line in or shade in just around the very edge of that to show the shadow. So I'm going to do that first on all of the hair so you can see where they should be. So there's one there. Uh, there's one there. There's one here at the back. So I'm kind of just splitting up the parts, I guess, what is what we're doing. So that you can see all of those little sections. There's another one down the bottom here. And when we come back in and do our flicks, we're actually going to go over those lines, but that area will actually be darker, which will show some depth in there. Your first what? Full blender, Becky, or the white pencil? So just creating some shadows. Just around the ear there would be slightly darker and there's leaves hanging over some of this hair so I'm going to make sure I go behind the leaves like that. Just following it down. Bit of a shadow on the bottom there. If you miss some, don't worry, they'll show up as you start to do the flicks in the hair. But at least if you've got them marked out, you know sort of where you're flicking from as well, which is kind of handy. Yes, Rebel, I've still got it. It's up in the top corner of the video, I think. <laughs> I hope it's there. <laughs> there you go, I'll pop it up in the chat. So who's colouring along? Have we got many? If you haven't done the skin and, and this is the first one, there is a skin one. I've started a playlist. Um, I don't know. I might find the link after, but I've started a playlist of them. Just there, there's one. And that's folding over. I'm just going to need to get my mono eraser out too. Another one of my favourite products and really affordable too. And uh, just erase the hair down here, it's got a bit of skin colour in it. There's a bit there.
So just marking all those shadows first. Coming over this side. Bit of hair is kind of folding up. That one's folding over. It will just help you to figure out where things are. It's a nice big thick piece of hair coming forward there and there's like a piece coming up there. Holding over under Okay, now I'm going to do my flicks from those areas. What have I done? <laughs> <May. laughs> you bit after, okay, that's good. <laughs> You're too quick anyway, May. I can't keep up with you. <laughs> I'm just going to sharpen that slightly because I did break off that tip and now I've done a bit of shading. It's just gotten a little bit blunt. All right, so starting from those shadow areas now, I'm going to flick up and follow the direction of the hair. and then flick down the opposite side. You need to turn it around to get the right angle and do that. I can't do a page without turning it. I've tried. I had to do the challenge without turning my page the other day. That was hard enough. Because <laughs> it was stuck to a board. Just flicking out from the dark section and then back the other way. I'm going to put some little details in around the head there too. Hi. Hi, Sean. Welcome. I'm a little bit out of it today. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it took some, some painkillers um, they make me a little bit dopey, you know, <laughs> make me slow and tired. <laughs> I had a terrible back this last few weeks. It's just been, ugh. I think it's the colder weather coming. It just plays havoc. <laughs>
Okay. Looking good. Just slowly filling things out. There's a little bit of hair sort of coming over her face there too. I'm just going to add that in. Hi. Hello. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. You come to say hello. You're bumping the camera. People aren't going to like that. You're going to make them sick. <laughs> Sicky bum. There we go. Pets? Pets? No. Okay, she doesn't want that. She doesn't still look at me. Camera, don't touch it. No. Don't bite me either, right bag. She just bit me. <laughs> She's pretty full on, this baby. Let me move my pencils out the way and you can sit there. Okay? Okay. She's sitting next to me now, guys, so... <laughs> we should be right for a bit She's like a statue she'll just talk to me every now and then <laughs> uh, Rebel I did uh, the first video um, we did the skin so I will pop up the link, possibly. <laughs> Maybe not. Is anyone else got, hang on, I'll just go to my, <coughs> I'll just open another page. I keep forgetting that I'm on a faster computer and I can actually open a screen without, um, without it stuffing everything up. <laughs> um, but let me grab the link. There you go. That's last week's video. I'm just coming in from the top and then from the bottom. And my pencil's getting uh, blunt again, so I'm going to go sharpen it again in a sec. There's a couple of lines of hair wisping over in different directions. I'm adding that in as I go as well. being a snob. Hi Linda, welcome. <laughs> Hi Sahara, welcome. I can't believe it, you guys are up. I'm shocked. <gasps> I was kind of awake at 7.30 this morning, but uh, not wanting to be, I tell you. I'm so excited, Linda. You'll be able to print big images and scan in your bigger books. It's so cool. Somebody else I know is getting the same printer, actually. I think uh, Shelley is 
getting a new printer. Lots of new printers. What colour are you using? <laughs> No worries, Gia. Thanks for dropping in. Is one of your babies sick? Sahara. That's no good. Not the same one that was bitten by something and had hives, is it? The same baby? We're talking fur baby, yeah? So exciting, Linda. Very exciting. Oh, that's no good. Hopefully they get she gets better. We've got some groovy hair going on here, guys. So yeah, I'm going to do some pink and burgundy clothing and and um, some yellow flowers, I think. I kind of had to go and figure out a scheme so we could get the hair done. This time when I worked out my colours, I... Um, I couldn't figure out, usually I'll figure out hair and then I'll go from there, but I couldn't figure out what colour to do the hair for this one. So, um, yeah. And I looked up colour palettes for Moonbeam. Couldn't really find much, so. <laughs> Last week Loretta was saying to do that. Hello, I'm not talking to you. What are you? No. She. <laughs> You're having a conversation with me, aren't you? Everyone thinks I'm crazy talking to myself here. Are you? You're so cute, baby. Pay attention to the baby, and she might go away. Can go away now. You going now? No? Say hi. Everyone say hi to Shadow. <laughs> I am not amused. <laughs> <laughs> I am not amused, she says. <laughs> I've got the workforce seven seven ten. I think it is Epson. Now, the first one I had, I did have issues with and I had to take it back. Um, for some stupid reason, there was something wrong with the Wi-Fi thing in it and uh, it was just a fault with that particular printer. I haven't had any issues with this one, so I guess they can't get them all perfect. Quality control. Part might have not been right to start with, so... just had to shade there I 
forgotten to do that there before, so that's her hood behind there. Pencils becoming white. Two paper trays. Ah, it's easy. You'll be fine. <laughs> the great thing I like about it is it's got a three scanner, so uh, books like uh, Serene and things where I have trouble with the paper, I can actually scan that and print it on my own paper. And I've also got obviously A3 paper um, to do that as well. I did do uh, the Goddess Warrior Goddess one from Serene on Expressive Blending Card, and I did a huge, massive A3 size, and it took me forever. And I used so much ink, I won't do that again. <laughs> It came out awesome though. I actually have a half, two half done serene images. Um, I found them when I was moving all my stuff. It's like, oh, I forgot about these. I started them, one of them on a stream and uh, it got forgotten. And the other one, I wasn't impressed. <laughs> I um, I didn't even bother to finish. It wasn't going very well. Just making sure I get all the curls, the little straggly bits. The ink is, but it seems to last quite a while. Um, because I only print mainly with black, I think the black was, you know what, I, I don't even quote me. I think it was $50 maybe for the black. But they have this extra large one which does like way more prints. Um, and if you're not printing, like I'm printing a couple of pictures every couple of days. So <laughs> uh, this is still the in Indian red. I'm still using that. Um, so yeah, so I'm printing quite often. If you're not printing, you know, an image every day, then you don't have to worry. But yeah, I seem to end up printing nearly every day. So bad. <laughs> and you know, I'll print images out and then they'll just sit. I've got a pile, I've got a a big pile of undone images that I've had printed forever and it just keeps growing because I have all these plans to do stuff and then go no that's not going to work and it goes in the pile I said should do like a series of catch-ups from the box <laughs> I was happy I finally got another Christine Karen Fairies one finished on Tuesday for our challenge. So that went in my book. It's another one down. It's got individual colours. Yep, using Nina. Oh, that's right, Barbara. It doesn't. Mine. I was still on all. I'm still on all the colour ones. I was up until. Yeah, uh, this week actually. I just replaced them all this week. And I've had it since. I have no idea when. I'd have to look at the receipt. So I've just done all of my dark flicks with the Indian Red now, almost finished. Oh, 
Well, I think, um, Linda, you can buy like generic refill sets and stuff, can't you? Where you in inject the cartridge and I mean, I don't know what that's like and how the print quality is, but I also print, I always print on best quality too. So weird when I print from the Word program, I always get lines through it. It's just terrible. So I always try and print from like photo gallery or something like that. Or PDF. And I always change it to high quality, normal paper with high quality print. So my pencil's getting blunt and I can see when I'm putting those lines, see how they're kind of thick and fuzzy and some of the other lines are looking more direct. It's because it's starting to blunt off on the tip. I just brought a laser cartridge. It cost me $109. This is Australian dollars, by the way, so it's probably not as much for you guys, but it was ridiculous for a laser toner. I don't use my laser for any of my colouring because the toner rubs off the paper. It's just shocking. Like peels off when you're colouring and just it's just terrible. Don't forget the wispy bits of hair either. There's a couple of wispy bits on that section there, just coming down the side. There's a bit of hair down her arm, down the back here, it was hiding. And there's a little bit behind her arm there as well. Just lining my shadow in first. Did I get it all that time? Yeah. Leaves, a couple of spots in there, I've just gone back over. And we can come back in later on with a, another layer anyway. Uh, let's go in with uh, magenta. How do I get back over there? No worries, son. Thanks for coming. Uh, Loretta, she doesn't have PayPal, so um, I was... Um, wherever Doya is from they're not allowed to have PayPal it's actually illegal so she has to do it through a credit card hosting site so you go in and you buy it and then it sends you an email saying that you need to then go and pay for it through that um, credit card host and then you go in and pop your credit card details in and she sends it to you within usually half an hour you get it so Who is that? Heather. Hello. Welcome, sweetie. It is raining a lot. <laughs> it 
it's um it's yeah great and it's cold ah uh, yeah i didn't have the facilities i had to go and organize it all to be able to do it so but um now i've done it so oh night may thank you so much for dropping in and hanging out this long <laughs> Okay, uh, starting with magenta now and I've sharpened it again because it was blunt. This time I'm going over the top and we're going to come a little bit further out towards that middle section. Some of these things I'll actually go through, but most of them I'll stop short. That reminds me of an episode of Seinfeld. Just when I said that then, stopping short. Who's seen it? Who's seen that episode? A foot massage thing in my bob. I saw all of them. <laughs> Seinfeld was uh, something that I grew up with. It was a sitcom that was out when I was growing up as a teenager. I don't like George. <laughs> or Newman. <laughs> Love Kramer. Especially these pretzels are making me thirsty. And every time I eat pretzels, I think of that episode. <laughs> Ooh, red redo. time I think we're nearly ready to have a giveaway yeah in an hour I think we'll do it in a minute I'll go and have a quick break I can't handle these early mornings I always need to pee <laughs> TMI sorry guys <laughs> can't hold for two hours it doesn't work in the mornings So I'm still using magenta. Oh, she's off. She's heard some noise. She's running away. <laughs> Someone must be moving around. She's just moved on. It's starting to really fill out now. The difference between that and that. Hi, Selena. Welcome. Nobody died from looking up close. <laughs> I don't know why George freaks me out. I think it's the actor. I never liked him in Pretty Woman. He was a bit of a creep in that. And um, it was all out around the same time. So I think that's why I just never liked him. 
You seem like a bit of a sleaze creep. I don't know. <laughs> He's probably a really nice person. Do you find that with actors like that, that you, sent, you tend to think that they could be like that in real life? I don't know. He's just a really good actor then if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Barbara. Thanks, Vic. Looking good. Just a top bit of hair here. So we're going to do a giveaway in a minute. Um, the giveaway will be for one free image from Colour and Chicks Etsy store. Last week we had Elaine who won. You have to win the giveaway, Loretta. Then you can get an image. If you join the group, she's had a couple of free images too. They're in her group um, as well. She had a couple of nice ones. so funny I'm trying to finish the hair before I go I'm gonna to have to have a quick break I'll be back guys I haven't put my break video in here yet I need to do that
Okay, back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Posty came just at the last minute, so I just ran out and grabbed it because it's raining. It'll get wet otherwise. Linda, you haven't won one either. I got, I'm puffing now. <laughs> <laughs> Belly rolls, hey Kenny. Do you mean jelly roll? <laughs> uh, I have the jelly roll two different sizes. I have the eight and the five. Uh, this is a three mil or 0 0.03 nib, and this one's a 0 0.05. And then I've got this one, which I think is bigger. It's like a one the uni ball that they're my three favorites and I also use a Posca pen quite a bit too I don't like the larger one but the little one I use quite a bit so <laughs> I don't use anything else I don't have glitter or neon actually for that matter I've got hardly anything neon so let's do giveaway rules Oh, that's weird. Uh, people have been having trouble, Heather, with chat. Um, this morning I was in a chat and people couldn't see other people. It was really weird. Yes, belly roll. <laughs> Sahara. <laughs> Mine is a bakery of rolls. Anyway, let's do the giveaway. <laughs> Because Kenny's um, a moderator, so you should be able to see her. I can see you. There you are. Grammy just popped up. Thanks, Maya. All right, let's do giveaway rules. Here we go. This is always fun. I'll lose my breath again. Okay. Pick one number between 1 and 100, only one number per person. First person to call number owns it. No chatting during number calling until winning number is drawn. No numbers before the words go, go, go or stop, stop, stop will be counted. We're going to go through this twice, so don't type anything yet. <laughs> Hi, Tammy, welcome. Morticia, oh really? <laughs> the number closest to the generated number without going over wins. If there is no number random, no winner, it will be redrawn. Make sure you are on live chat. Click on the top of the chat box. Click down to live chat and when you finish that, it should say live chat at the top of your chat box. Any giveaway promotion, any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored, endorsed or administered by, associated with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or colour and chicks. <laughs> I'll just read through it again. Hi Beverly, welcome. Where's Janitor? I don't see this Janitor person. Heather? We're just going through those rules again. Pick one number between 1 and 100. One number per person. First person to call a number owns that number. No chatting during number calling until winning number is drawn. No numbers before the words go, 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 or stop, stop, stop will be counted. <coughs> the number closest to the generated number without going over wins. If there is no winner, the random number will be redrawn. Make sure you are on live chat. Click on the little box at the top of your chat box. Click down to live chat and it should say live chat at the top of your box. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some readies, people? Ready, ready, ready! Ready, rollers. What? I can't see janitor how can they be a mod I don't have them on my list as a mod 
That's so weird. Oh, I get you. With the little thing next to it, I get you. Yeah, we're not ready yet, Heather. Just wait a minute. <laughs> I haven't gone to the random.org yet. Okay, this is where we'll be drawing the number when it's time. And we did a timer last time, so I might do that again as well. It's already set to a minute and a half. We are uh, nothing counted before that, guys. So it has to be after I've actually typed it in. There it is, guys. So got the timer started. I know I'm a few head, few seconds ahead, so uh, that's why we make sure we type it in. Because sometimes you might think we're still going, and because I'm ahead of you, we're always living in the future. Hey, Aussies, we're used to it. <laughs> still using magenta. No other chatting while we're calling numbers, guys. So we are doing a draw for one image from Colour and Chicks Etsy store. And uh, Doya was saying that she was going to try to hang around, but it's really, really, really late for her. So, um, she's probably not going to make it tonight. Flick, 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 flick. If you call more than one number, you'll get disqualified, so make sure you get rid of them. Alright, we're done. Let's call the number. I don't know how far behind I am. It's kind of weird. Shara, you missed it. Sorry, sweetie. Someone already called that number anyway. <laughs> what is that? The winning number is 73. Let's have a look. Who's closest to that number? <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> no, 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 Kenny. <laughs> We had Deb, who actually called the number 73. Brilliant. The exact number. Well done, Deb, sweetie. Um, I will send you a message on Messenger. I've got you. Have a eye. Congratulations. Because <laughs> you wrote number 127. <laughs> Deb, I'll be in contact. So go check out Colour and Chicks uh, Etsy Etsy shop, which I'll pop the link up for you guys now, um, and pick an image, and uh, I will let her know, and she will send it to you. So, <laughs> hi Shara, welcome. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Oh, I did too. <laughs> oh, Linda, you did win one. You won the, the two books from Dear Lanahan. I remember that one. We had some issues getting the books out to you. <laughs> that was a while ago, though. That was actually nearly a year ago now, hey? That was my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> Seems like forever ago. 
hard to see what you miss, but because this colour is kind of a pinky purple, if it looks more red than I've missed it. All right, we're going to go in with the deep red. Yeah, more detail than <laughs> she is. It's very late for her. So this colour will take be a little bit quicker because we are just doing a few flicks and coming through the middle a little bit too. So uh, it's blunt. Sorry, Kenny, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. Yay for death. <laughs> ah, that's because you're awesome. That's funny. You guys all get to have a laugh at us the other night, so. <laughs> So, uh, Sahara, this is the colour of your hair, right? Pinky red colour. It's pretty awesome. I don't know how you can handle it. I couldn't stand it. When I had my hair dyed all purple, um, the colour just washed, washed out and looked terrible. Like, it wasn't... It just made my hair look really dry and... I don't know. I had so much trouble with it. I loved it when I first got it done. It was pretty awesome. Have you seen that red ad? The one with about the iron deficiency. That girl's got really dark red hair. It reminds me of you every time I see that ad, Sahara. <laughs> Kenny, really? <laughs> you didn't know? Maya mentioned it earlier on. You didn't know? Oh, good hell, <laughs> Heather. <laughs> no do over. Sorry. <sighs> well, mods are usually patrons, so um, I picked a few and yeah. You're a patron. So why not? We had a welcome to patrons actually this week. Um, Amanda and <laughs> welcome to Patreon and um, I can't remember the other one. Sorry, having a moment. And Hannah! Thank you very much and welcome to Patreon. All right, 
getting there slowly but surely it's kind of all blending into one on the camera but it is looking quite detailed here I think I'm going to have to just stand up for a sec. Having issues today. I think I said that already, but. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Rochelle. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> now. <laughs> looking good isn't it Tammy looking very very good you do <laughs> that's good good dad am I really that behind oh dear me all right I've got my yellow this is the cadmium yellow cadmium yellow cadmium I'm just doing a couple of little strokes through each part Show a bit of a glow. So we're going to use this cadmium yellow to do some highlights on her clothing as well. I love the colour it makes when they mix together these ones. Now I need to send out big prayers, healing prayers to a few people too. So you know who you are, I'm sending them along. Poor dolls. All right. How's that looking? Is that color even coming up? <sighs> Can you see it? The color coming up in there? So I just did a Hannah Lynn image this week for patrons. I did a marker video and a pencil video using my conversion chart from my marker video. And it came out pretty awesome. But I'm going to be doing a Hannah Lynn image <laughs> that I won't be doing as a tutorial because I want to put it on the cover of Hannah's book. Yay! Um, I'm not sure inside or back but one of those so that's pretty cool I saw uh, Sky you won a spot too Missy pretty awesome I brought my spot <laughs> how bad am I
Wow, thanks, Helen. I struggled with that paper on with the marker one though. Ugh, I'll never do that again. I used a mixed media paper. Actually, I can even show you in a minute. Um, and it, <laughs> the markers hated it. Hated it. Was the Canson Canson mixed media paper, and uh, my scanner hated it too. It's got lots of like ridges and lines through it, and it just made it look so messy. Dirt. So um, I had to try and flatten out the the lines on the page with I used the full blender to try and flatten off the page. Didn't do much good, but I got a bit of the rough texture off it. A little bit more in that side bit there. She's looking pretty awesome. Yeah, I love that colour. It's come out really pretty. I think that's a little bit blurry because the camera's pointed slightly sideways, so the colour looks kind of smudged, but it's not. <laughs> so yeah, Hannah Lynn um, had a Kickstarter thing for a new book. It's her favourites book. And um, yeah, it's a Kickstarter book, so um, it'll be like an artist edition, and it and we get to vote on what images we'd like in the book. So that's my pencil, and the marker one. Oh, it's really hard to see, but can you see the lines in that? As I said, I tried to flatten it out as much as I could, but the paper is just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And it's fine with watercolour because with watercolour, it flattens off the, the ridges. It's kind of weird how that happens, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Kenny, did you say you were as well? Kenny, why aren't you a mod anymore? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what? Did you log into a different account or something? I'm just using white now, guys. Just going to zoom back in again. <laughs> Do you have two different accounts? It's kind of weird. Actually, it's not. It's happened to me before because I've got um, Faithful Girl 1978 is a brand account of my personal email. So sometimes if you log in on a different thing, it logs in as your, not the brand or the name, it logs into the other to go back and log out again. Off camera. 
Oh, you weren't demoted. <laughs> I just made a decision to make it a uh, Patreon, a bit of a reward thing for patrons, so. <laughs> so I'm just getting rid of some of the fuzzy lines. Oh no, Sahara, I had the same thing. Did you get them from that group? Because uh, that's where I got them from last time and both, and Linda had a damaged one too, yeah? Yeah, Maya, but I brought mine. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to support her as well and uh, she just moved across to patreon as well so um, yeah so the the one I brought was the physical book and the digital copy um, and it included a guaranteed spot on the cover could be inside or back don't know yet um, I'm going to assume that she'll wait till everyone's comes in and then she'll decide who's doing what. But um, yeah, I want to work on something special. So I decided to do a Hannah Lynn and uh, Sammy had her, she's got a colour, a Hannah Lynn colour along at the moment. So I've just joined that to have a go at that. It's been a while since I've done one. I think the last one I did was the Bird of Paradise one, which came out absolutely stunning too. Um, but yeah, I'll do one and send it in so you guys will have to keep a lookout for it because um, I won't show anyone until the book comes. Bit of a surprise, eh? There's some really uh, nice colorists going on there too, so I can't wait to see it. Sky being one of them. It's very exciting. Alright, so that's the white done. I've just covered over all of the tooth that was sticking up. Just flattened it out nicely. Now I'm going to go back in with the Indian red. You brought it, Maya? Bye, Linda. Where are you going? I missed your bye. Okay. She probably didn't hear that then. She's probably already gone. You lost your rent. Yeah, what happened, Kenny? How come you? I lost that went? That's weird. You're awesome, Heather. Stop that. I love you. <laughs> I love coming to your streams too because uh, they're quite funny. Cheeky. Very cheeky. Just using Indian Red just to go and deepen up some of those shadow areas again. Uh, because the white sort of gone in, it's flattened them off a little bit. So I'm just making them a little bit darker.
Uh, Sahara, hopefully you get get them changed over. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetie. Oh, Kickstarter is just a, a place where people can go and they can put their product on and if enough people pledge money to that product, then they make the product. So Chameleon did it, Chameleon Pens did it to start with. Um, and they also, they also did it for their fine liners as well. The fine liners that they've just brought out. So it's a good way for creators to sort of say that they're going to do something. If they get enough money, then they obviously will make it. But if they don't make enough money, um, then you don't pay any money. Does that make sense? So you only pay if they make enough. <laughs> so um, I didn't actually physically pay anything for Hannah's book until she had enough pledges to go ahead and do the book. But, um, I've seen a few great artists do that with their colouring books. It's kind of cool. It means they can go ahead and, you know, um, organise printing and things like that and they know that they're going to get paid for it before um, it makes it easier for them to get the job done. Not having to outlay all that at once by themselves. Alrighty. What do we think? I think I haven't done enough white down here. Yeah, chameleon fine liners. <laughs> Did you see them? Hi, Christine. Welcome. That's right, Christine. Venture capital. Exactly. It's um, it's great. It's it's a great way for artists who don't have that behind them um, to start out. It's brilliant. Just got a little bit more magenta. Magenta's coming over. Magenta's coming over. Blue's Clues. My son loved it when he was a baby. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. Blue's Clues. High Five, which is an Australian children's group thing. And the Wiggles. Everybody's got to love the Wiggles. Truth be, truth be known, the only concerts I ever have been to are High Five and the Wiggles. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. I think we need a little bit of yellow in her eyes. I'm just going to pop a little bit of yellow onto one side, the left side. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. She's got a little bit of magenta in the top section. And she's got a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow in the side there as well some nice reflections of those stars over here and she's got blue mixture she's very pretty <clears throat> What 
are we getting now? What's happening? I missed something there. Kenny, what did you do? Did you look back into the other one again? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I think you could still get the Kickstarter stuff. I think um just the first the she it was um a specific date if she didn't receive a certain amount of money by a specific date uh then obviously the kickstarter wouldn't go ahead um but i'm pretty sure you can still get it even though yeah yeah that's right it is over i think you can still buy it though can't you i think the actual rewards are done but i think you can still buy the book can you not I don't know. Kenny, what did you do? I'd love to try the camellia markers. Did you get them? Hang on, I can't. I've lost you, Kenny. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm just looking up to see. I can't see any comment from Kenny. You've disappeared. To get what? Hello. Hi, Wendy. Oh. Yeah, it is a limited edition book. It is, it is, it is. I, um, a couple of years ago, I fell over and I broke my ankle in the supermarket. And uh, I landed on my hand and um, I have this lump in my wrist now. It's like, it's hard to see, but there's like a lump here. I have no idea what it is, but it gets really sore sometimes. And this morning it's really sore. I'm having like a fibro outbreak, I think. Everything's just like hurting. <laughs> I'm done. But I just realized we need to do eyebrows. So I'm just going to come in with the Indian red. And just add a few eyebrow flicks in there. Just kind of little tiny flicks just to show a little bit of texture and then coming back over with a little bit of the magenta which is not very sharp completely flat it looks sharp but it's not I don't think it's a, it, it is just volume one though, guys. So she may do another one at some stage, maybe next year. So don't stress if you don't get this one. But the images are all from her books anyway. No, there's going to be no new images. It's just that it is an artist copy. Um, so it'll be larger and it's on better quality paper because obviously Hannah Lynn's stuff's all coming on Create Space paper. Um, so it would be nice to be able to see them on really good quality paper. Just adding a little bit of magenta. But yeah, I'm pretty certain she'll do more. Because this one's done so well, been so popular. And then a little bit of the red, deep red, just mixing a little bit of everything in here. And uh, we're not going to put any yellow in this. I don't think she needs a yellow reflection on her eyebrows. 
No, I don't think so. Yeah, she did cherry. Did she? I thought they were all going to be all, all ones that are already out. Thanks, Abby. Whimsy Girl Colouring Pages, 10 fresh new exclusives. Ah, oh, there you go. 8 by 11. So 8 by 11 is this size that I've got my page on now. This is the... Um, this is the Nina 8.5 by 11 inch paper so um, yeah it's a little bit wider than A4 and it's a little bit shorter than A4 so this is A4 size backing sheet that I've got Oh, thanks, Kenny. She's starting to look pretty. She's got heaps to go. I'm actually thinking I'm going to put a tiny little bit of magenta in her lips just down here. Now I know what colour we're using for her clothes. I'm actually really excited to start her clothes, but we'll start her clothes next week. And um, that'll take us a little while because there's a fair bit of blending and stuff to do. Just a couple of flicks of hair I haven't gone over. fixing them up now I ended up paying for it because I thought the Kickstarter one because I thought it would help advertise me a little bit <laughs> sometimes you got to pay for that kind of thing to get rewards from it And it's in there forever, and I'll have it forever. So um, it'd be nice to be published on a book, hey? Okay, I just sort of um, added a few flicks in where the hair was sort of coming over the edges a bit that I missed. And I think I'm done. I don't want to move on and do any more um, to start with because I haven't done up a colour list for the rest of it yet. And um, I don't want to move on too quick for those that have, are following along either. Good night, the lovely Helen. Thank you so much for helping out today. Thank you to all the mods. You're awesome. Bye, Christine. Thanks for dropping in and saying hello. We're almost done anyway, so it's all good. We're ready to finish up. <laughs> um... So the dress is going to be like pinks and purples. I've played around with a few colours and we've kind of got a like a, we're going to be using magenta and fuchsia and crimson. So they're giving you some ideas of what we're going to be doing. And um, yeah, so that will be, and some Indian red and <laughs> so that would give you some ideas of where we're going so um yeah bye Joey are you going oh no no you're not going <laughs> it's all good 
no worries sherry thanks so much for watching um and uh, we'll, we'll start working on the clothes next week um and i probably could have done some of the gold stuff now actually but we've still got 15 minutes let's use a tiny little bit of indian red just a tiny bit just in the shadow areas because I don't need any other colors for this we can do this just really really light pressure into the shadow areas with Indian red Uh, I think it comes sort of around it's really hard to tell what's what here I think that's it there hang on I think I've got that right put a little bit in the star as well in the moon sorry and then I'll just use the cadmium yellow over the top leaving a little gap for some white sorry to those that already left down on here and then I'll use the white just to blend that all off. Just got the cadmium yellow again. Darkening up those sections. There we go, got a bit of gold going on there and uh, just some white in the very middle of that and just deepen up around the edges again and we'll put a little bit of white gel paint on there, yeah? There we go, a couple of spots uh, on a necklace too, we'll put a couple of spots down there kind of coloured over it with a bit of skin colour but put a couple of little sparkles on there and just and um, what I'll actually do is when I finish colouring in the cape behind her head I'll actually put in a couple of sparkles uh, like I'm going to do on this one down here, I've got the 0.5 Jelly Roll pen. Just here, I've got a spot, just get it flowing. <laughs> I've got a spot there, and we've got a bit of a star. So you just do a cross first. a lot of people ask me how I do them that's all I do across and then across the opposite way a little bit smaller though you'll really show up under the uh, scanner though you'll be able to see that a bit more clearly the camera's too bright you kind of see it <laughs> there Make it a little bit darker. How's that? There you go. You can kind of see it. <laughs> Whoa.
that's really bad. The contrast is really bad. <laughs> okay, I'll just normalize it a bit. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. I'll contact you, Deb. Congratulations on today. Big thank you to Colour and Chicks for this beautiful image. If you want to grab it, make sure you pop over to my group and join the event. It is under the events tab. Also, all of the links and everything are under the learning section of the group as well. So uh, you can check it out there as well. If you have any questions, send me a message, guys. And uh, make sure you answer the questions if you're joining the group so admin will let you in. Go check out the lovely Doya Draws on YouTube as well. Here is her YouTube link. And drop into her Etsy store. And Deb, pop into her Etsy store and let me know what you would like to get. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on Monday. Monday, what am I going to do on Monday? Ooh, hoo, hoo. I don't know yet. I've got so many things going on at the moment. I'm still doing this beautiful image. It's almost finished. <laughs> um, that will be a Patreon one, and I'll do a bit of a speed colouring for that one to introduce the lovely, the lovely Deanna Davoli. And um, Monday, I'll figure something out. Maybe we will colour an image with those um, Sergeant Art pencils that I have. Um, but yeah, I will see you then. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Heather. Thanks so much for dropping in. I miss seeing you. And um, I'll drop in when I see a notification because sometimes I don't get them. <laughs> All right, peoples. Elaine. Perfect. Elaine, congratulations for last week. I think we're good. Bye. Hi, Lisa. And bye, Lisa. Thank you for dropping in. Didn't see you there earlier. <laughs> YouTube link. I posted it up further. It's already gone. Let me post it again, sweetie. Excuse me. It is in the top right-hand corner of the video too. I'm pretty certain. <laughs> but there it is again. I can't see it, so actually I can see it. Let me have a look here. Yes, it is. Click on the little information and it's Doya Draws. And Patreon. Yes, that's my Patreon. <laughs> also there. Thanks, guys, so much. <laughs>